Hello, I'm in the historic village of Ferns in County Wexford and I'm here to ask the locals their opinions on the new refugee centre that's set to be opening up here early next year. Okay, but what, what are your thoughts about this uh, refugee centre being opened in this village? Uh, well, I'd have grave concerns about, about it. Um, you know, it's going to change the whole dynamic of the village. Um, people that are, are not documented coming in, it's going to pose its own problems, uh, naturally, in, in a society different culture, different outlooks on everything, it, it can't be good. These things have to be planned out properly. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be in favour of it. Very scary, very scary. I wouldn't mind if it was women and children coming, but men. And you've heard the stories that's going on and being covered up. And I'm just terrified of walking down the street now. Yeah. Like, I, I wouldn't even go outside yeah. after a certain time of the day, yeah. unless I was with people. I think a lot of Old people are going to be frightened, their life is going to be frightened now because with these um, economic migrants coming in, we don't know who they are, we don't know where they're from, we don't know what they've done in other countries. It's like that fellow that murdered Ashling um, Murphy. Murphy, right? He was, he had done something in another country, underage sex with another child. He's been on the radar, the guard the radar and all right and there we have a girl murdered for no reason that was just out taking and run we've other people up in mayo that were beheaded um, like and the children then that was stabbed i mean these are all economic migrants that are doing this right um, like why are the government doing this to our country why are there, is there no discussions on them coming in why are they moving them in at two and three o'clock in the morning yeah people are worried and you can't blame them yeah. well the number one issue is that migrants are not always respectful of the locals. So that means that we can't any longer go walk around the street. We need we need protection and we have to be we have to be more conscious. We can't let children out. And like it's we have endless accounts of migrants doing things that is not in the interest of the locals. I've absolutely no problem with um, refugees at all. Like they need somewhere to go. Um, just have heard a bit of, their, of a bit of trouble in in uh, other places like Tala, for instance, City West. Um, but like I'm not sure about how it starts or you know who starts it or whatever. But um, yeah, it's a nice quiet village though, <laughs> Fern. So you see, you hear stories there that they're eyeing up little children and trying to take them, like. What's going to be done with that? Like the government just turns a blind eye to it. The same with the sabins up in Dublin. It's they're blaming the tugs for doing the rioting. But what is it meant to do? Like when kids are being stabbed in the daylight, like do they want that to happen here? Well, this is this is the one thing I can't understand and I can't figure out is that these war-torn countries. Where's all the women and children? No one seems to be asking the politicians this question. Why is it all men of fighting age coming into Ireland, into every village, every town? No women, no children. It's all uh, male refugees, no female refugees, no kids. I don't understand it. We don't have any objections to any foreign person coming in from another country here. As long as provided they come in here, they work, they pay their taxes like we have to do. They don't try to change our ways of life. Basically what people are upset about is the volume, the volume of people coming in. Nobody, nobody minds an even balance in a society where, you know, uh, services are for, available for everyone. But when a, a small community is overrun by people of, like maybe diff, speaking a different language and diff, having different cultures, it's, it, how can you expect uh, local communities, you know, to just accept that. Has anyone done a survey of the number of murders in this country in the last three years and what percentage of those are foreigners killing themselves or killing us? Mm. Right. Yep. That, that would be an interesting one. Yep. Okay. Yep. Well, I, I do. I, I, murders have gone up dramatically over the last few years, but they've stopped taking the nationality, I believe, you know, when they're doing the details, um, you know, they, they've stopped taking the nationality because... It, 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 because of the reac reaction I get from people, yeah. 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 While I was out in Ferns today making this video, about 60% of the people that I asked uh, about the, the refugee centre were not even aware that a refugee centre is planned for their village. I just thought that this was a very interesting point to share with you. Yeah.
Oh, 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 oh,